My name is Hoyne, I'm a consultant psychiatrist and professor of psychiatry and a friend of mine asked me to talk about narcissism and narcissistic personality disorder. The first thing is um, what are personality disorders? Personality disorders are consistent changes or abnormalities in personality which usually causes problems towards self and others. So this relates what's normal, but that's another issue for another day. So today I focus on narcissistic personality disorder. And usually it's um, related with grandiosity, lack of feeling for others, and the a demand for uh, very good treatment compared to others. So grandiosity, lack of feeling for others, as well as the um, need for admiration. So um, people who are narcissistic seek attention. And in this respect, you might say I'm an artistic, a narcissistic today. My wife might say that. But um, yes, if you try to make videos and be seen, you're uh, narcissistic to some extent. And to some extent, it's normal. I think you can't blame for every uh, actor who wants to be seen on the TV to be narcissistic, even though it might help a little bit. Um, and to some extent, so it's an, uh, it's something functional. It becomes uh, a problem when there is too much of the same thing. Um, people who are narcissistic might ignore feelings of others. They might demand things. Um, Usually they will have problems with other people. Um, they have a very high sense of self-importance and require constant admiration. And if people don't give them this admiration, they might be aggressive and upset. They feel that they deserve privileges and better treatment than others. They might argue about having the best office, the best car or the best food and want to be seen. Um, they sometimes see themselves as superior and even though their achievements are more or less normal or nothing special. And uh, their achievements, they embellish very often. They think that what they have achieved is possibly bigger than what others have achieved. They sometimes dwell on fantasies of success, power, brilliance, or that they're very beautiful. And this is one of the uh, initial stories of Narcissus, Narcissus, according to the Greek mythology, that was a hunter who knew, was known for his beauty. So in this respect, I can't be a narcissist. Um, but <laughs> I'm certainly not beautiful, but I hope uh, it just goes through today. You know? Okay, sorry for that. Um, so he saw his... Um, when he was hunting, he um, eventually saw his mirror image and then fell in love with his mirror image. So that's um, this way of assuming excessive self-love. People love themselves and then they feel great or greater than others. I think, and that's a problem with all about psychiatry is that to some extent, um, a bit of self-love is necessary to survive and to yeah, be resilient and live with the challenges our life and others or that ourselves bring to us. People with narcissistic personality disorder might be critical or extensively critical of others, look down on them, um, telling them, feeling them they're not important, they might treat uh, shop assistance with, uh, with disgust or with impoliteness or aggression. That's something uh, which is very common or they have employees and they don't treat them properly. Um, they expect special favors from other people simply because they feel that they deserve it. And then they very often, which as I gave you an example before in shop assistance, they don't see the, uh, the abilities or the feelings of others. 
they might be very envious of people who really achieved something and on the other hand they might believe that because they're beautiful or special or anything else then they would need to be admired they can be very arrogant or be perceived as arrogant they might brag a lot a lot about their achievements and what they've done um they as i said they might insist on the best treatment the best whatever office or best telephone or whatever best might be um usually personality disorders are disorders which um affect the interactions with others so um people with narcissistic personality disorder struggle with criticism and very often even would learn from criticism they might be very impatient or angry when they don't get the recognition they might be loud or shouting or complaining in shops they might um feel feel criticized and uh can be react with rage and contempt or feel easily belittled if they don't get what they want and um uh, they could possibly sometimes because you know it might be stressful if you're not seen as what you want to be seen that it can affect your emotion and can sometimes cause depression and anxiety um so dealing with stress is a problem people then might avoid situations where not uh, per perceived as as special as they feel they are so that might as i said feel uh, leads to depression anxiety or mood disorders and sometimes behind this uh, facade of grandiosity being special there can be very many feelings of failure of humiliation if they don't perform in the way they do so in summary personality disorders are things or are uh behaviors which may cause problems towards themselves and also to others and narcissistic personality disorder is a specific one one personality disorder which goes with grandiosity feeling of superiority and the related frustrations if others don't see this as it are is it as the narcissist wants it to feel and uh, this can also be related with the ignorance of other people's feelings which again causes problems sometimes soon i will talk about the treatment which is usually psychotherapeutic but it's difficult because in most cases patients with narcissistic personality disorders do not want to see themselves as a problem they usually see other people as problems thanks for your interest and have a nice day if you like this video then please like us or subscribe to our channel we are very keen to provide information about mental health problems for professionals maybe junior professionals and for patients relatives and families thanks for your interest and have a nice day